Welcome collectors and hobby enthusiasts. Welcome back to this special edition of Diecast Emporium. It's been over four years since I've compiled an NYPD 164 scale collection update video. And believe it or not, despite this being primarily a construction channel, that seems to be the most popular video on this channel. So I know a lot of you guys have been asking uh, for me to do a most recent collection update. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The beginning part of the video will encompass the small vehicles in this, such as the police cars, uh, the SUVs, and towards the end, we'll take a look at the larger trucks that are in this collection. So let's go ahead and get started. First up, we have a green light 2015 Chrysler 200 S. Uh, this is actually not a police car. This is what I use as a um, government agency vehicle, whether I'm displaying it as FBI or CIA, any of the alphabet soup agencies that have uh, black undercover vehicles. It's pretty nice, as you will find with all or most of the green light vehicles. Rubber tires, metal on metal, mirrors, headlights, highlighting all throughout. Very nice. You will notice also that I'm going to try and do this as very quickly and as fast paced as I can. So this is also one of my favorites, 2012 Ford Taurus show from Greenlight. Uh, again, personal favorite of mine. Also used in uh, the FBI and things like that. Obviously, it would not have a plate on it. This specifically was from the uh, Men in Black series, ironically enough. So that's why it has a license plate on it. But if you've ever actually been in a Ford Taurus show or seen these, these cars haul butt. They are very quick, and you really wouldn't expect that from a Ford Taurus. So there you go. Okay, and rounding out the blacked out vehicles that I have in this collection, this is a 2010 Chevy Tahoe by Jada. Now originally this had, and you can really see it in this light, but this had a uh, CIA decal on the door, which I attempted to remove. I did this when I was a lot younger, so it didn't turn out the best. But when it's farther away and not under this type of lighting, you really can't tell. Uh, the doors do open on this piece, which I like a lot, as does the rear hatch. Give you a quick spin around of this, and then we will move on. Okay, next two are I have had since childhood. First up, we have a NYPD Tahoe. This is from a company called Golden Wheels. They were... Uh, available in big lots in the late 90s, early 2000s when I purchased this. Uh, they made a variety of different vehicles, whether they be emergency service vehicles or civilian vehicles, and they came in actually a little plastic um, box that you could open. And uh, I don't remember them being very expensive at all, obviously because as a kid I could afford them. So they made this in NYPD livery with the light bar on top, and then they also made a 98 Crown Victoria. Now you'll notice the paint color is a little off. Obviously the striping in the NYPD blue is a little bit lighter than the actual licensed color, but still in all, it was nice to get something different. All right, this Crown Vic is by a company called Real Toy and it's based on a 2004 Crown Victoria model. Um, this company specializes in doing promotions and toys for New York City. They do caps, they do taxi cabs, uh, fire trucks, obviously police cars. I believe they even do garbage trucks for the state, uh, or rather for the city of New York. Uh, I think they even do a toy of the metro and the subway for New York City. If you go in there, if you go in their gift shop. Um, you'll see toys by Real Toy, Darren, things like that. So, there you go. All right, next five I'll show you were from the 2014 Matchbox NYPD 5-pack. This one is nothing to write home about. It's an unlicensed casting from 2003 uh, called, and 2002, so called the Matchbox Sport SUV. Not sure why they went with this NYPD Auxiliary Black, um, but they did. It says traffic enforcement on it. The standard saying for the NYPD courtesy, professionalism, and respect. So, not going to spend a lot of time on that at all. The other one they did in the kind of auxiliary colors was this GMC Wrecker. And 
This casting, again, has been around longer than I have. I don't know when they produced this. Yeah, 1987. There you go. And actually, a lot of collectors even like this today because the hook actually works on it. So you can hook up a Matchbox car to it and tow it away. Pretty neat. Uh, this was also a... Although it's a fantasy casting, it's based on a real vehicle. This is the Meter Maid. Again, part of the Matchbox NYPD livery. Two wheels underneath here. You would see a lot of these in New York City. Next, we have the 2000 uh, Chevy Suburban. Obviously not to scale, but this did have a trailer hitch on it. And although this was part of the five-pack, a couple years later, they also released this in the singles. I'm not sure what the variation is between this version and the singles, because I've looked over it a couple times, and I really haven't been able to tell what the difference is. So, And the last part of the five-pack, probably the best part of it, is the Matchbox Dodge Charger Pursuit. With the brush guard light bar on top, which is part of the window, and your nice graphics and such. Okay, rounding out the Matchbox pieces. Again, this was released just last year uh, in part of the singles, so part of the 1-75 to collection. This is a 1994 Chevy Caprice classic police car. Now, with it being 1994, that's pretty close to the transition period of the color swap, but it would be really nice to see maybe, um, you know, if this is re-released sometime soon, if they actually had this in, you know, the blue with the white stripes, that would be more period correct. Okay, let's transition to the green light vehicles. First up, this is very popular. Hard to get nowadays. Green light 1967 Ford Bronco. This is in the Central Park livery. You can see the lights and the gumball light up on top. Most green light vehicles, the hood does open, and you can get somewhat of a look at the engine inside. There's the other side, and the spare tire on the back. All right. I mentioned the blue with white stripes. Here you go. This is a 1987, I believe, does it say? Yeah, 1987 Ford Mustang. I don't know if the NYPD actually had Ford Mustangs. Maybe, who knows. Um, but it's a nice looking car. Maybe they would have, you know, commissioned one or something. So, there you go. All right. Next up. 1990 Chevrolet Caprice. Is that not just an awesome looking car? Check that thing out. Realistic looking light bar for the time period. Back. And side. And rounding out the blue with white stripes, we have a 1993 Ford Crown Victoria. Again, all of these are by Green Light. I don't think we're going to have yeah, the last, yeah, until I say otherwise, all of these are going to be by Green Light. We'll finish up the video with two code threes, but that's not going to be for a while. I love the V light pattern on most of these cars. Especially the newer stuff. Okay. Next up. This green light did for the television show Blue Bloods. 2001 Ford Crown Victoria. 7554 on the back. There we go. And same thing on the front plate. And same thing on the other side. 
Now, if you're wondering why I'm not doing, why I'm not putting each of these on the spinny table that I have, because the reason for that is because all of these are so vastly different in size, um, it would just be too difficult to put the smaller ones on and then get the table for the bigger ones. It just wouldn't work with the fact that you're trying to get all of these in. So this is the best way that I found to do this. Um, so hopefully you guys are understanding of that. All right, moving on. We have the 08 Ford Crown Victoria. Here it is. I like this one. I like all the police cars that have uh, the guard on the front of them, which for the most part is used for um, pit maneuvers, things like that. That's what I've always been taught that they were used for. Quickly disabling vehicles that are fleeing, that kind of thing. Going back a few years, I believe, if I remember correctly, PIT stands for Pursuit Intervention Technique. And you would have... Let's bring up one of the black cars. So, let's say... i got to focus again. There we go. Let's say that this guy's our baddie, and he's fleeing from the cop. The cop comes up here on his right rear quarter panel. He would get him right in the tire, spin him out. Essentially, now... Let's do it actually in the frame. So here he goes, gets him in the right rear corner panel, spins him out, and essentially now he's able to negate the ability for this car to get away because ideally you'd have another police car right up behind him. He's coming in here. This guy has nowhere to go. So that's the whole reason for that. Obviously, you never want to be in a situation where you'd have to do that because generally speaking, there's going to be tons and tons of people around bystanders, things like that. Um, so there's a lot of risk involved in doing that. But if this guy's flying around, putting, you know, pedestrians at risk anyway, zooming in on a traffic, a lot of times it's the, you know, the least of two evils. So, all right. Next up, we have 2011 Ford Police Interceptor. So the interceptors are based on, well, they are Ford Tauruses with the Pursuit and Interceptor packages on them. This one, again, I like because it has the black wheels and, again, the guard on the front of it. Back NYPD police with the bumper stickers as well. And then another 2011 Ford Interceptor is this one. This one does not have the guard on the front of it. Now, these cars came in the NYPD by green light diorama set. So you got a bunch of police cars in there. Okay. Moving to the Dodges. We have an 09 Dodge Charger. And this one, this is a pursuit package as well. This one has the, yeah, and it even says Highway Patrol on it as well. Now, a lot of, not a lot, many police agencies that uh, I know of and I have been connected with actually do not like these chargers. Um, they're, because a lot of them went from Ford products up to the chargers. And for one reason or another, they just didn't like them. A lot of, said, you know, a lot of them said they were slow, unreliable. Um, some of them broke down. They just, they weren't roomy enough in there. there there's, a, there's a mantra of reasons, but um, here in Ohio, when the Ohio, the, the State Highway Patrol, a few years ago, upgraded theirs to the, the Chargers, I know a couple state troopers that I am friends with that don't like the Chargers um, when, they, when they changed. Okay, here's another one. This is another Charger. This one, I think, is uh, 2012 as well. Let's look underneath. Yeah, 2000 Dodge, 2012 Dodge Charger. 
Uh, this one has the black wheels, obviously, so there is some variation there. In terms of looks, in my opinion anyway, you guys, of course, obviously let me know down in the comment section below while we're going through this video what your thoughts are. In terms of the looks, aesthetically, obviously, the Charger looks better than a Ford Taurus, hands down. But performance-wise, application-wise, I mean, I, I everyone that I've talked to, my experience, what little experience that's been, um, I... I I would choose the Interceptor, the the, the 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 show package, the Interceptor package, the Tauruses, hands down over these chargers, just sheer based on um, shared experiences. But give it to Dodge, they, they definitely look good. All right, and the last of the chargers... So, the first one was an 09, then these last two are 2012s, and this one does not have the guard on the front of it. There you go. Okay. Got off on a bit of, bit of a tangent there, but that's all right. It's all relevant. You guys like to hear those stories. It matters. So, this is a 2013 Ford Fusion. And yes, the NYPD does have a fleet of Fusions. At least they did back in 2013. They go through cars like most of us go through underwear. Um, there was a stat back in the day, like eight years ago when I was in college, um, that I think it was California. I think uh, yeah, I think it was CHP or um, the LAPD that there was a crash involving a police officer like at one time in 2012 or 2011 once every like 10 minutes i was like uh i'm not sure i believe that but that's what the data says so there's the fusion pretty cool looking 2013 ford fusion Here's something I'm not a fan of at all. Basically because it's incorrect uh, on every fascia possible. This is a 1977 Chevy G200 or G20 van. Uh, 1977, obviously this was not the livery for NYPD. This is the current livery for NYPD. As you've seen, obviously it would be in that blue scheme. And the emergency service unit, obviously wasn't even a thing until, um, w with using big vehicles, really, it wasn't even a thing back then. ESU was formed in 1920, but they, they weren't using the white vans like this. So it's, it's just totally incorrect. The paint scheme is incorrect. I'm not saying they didn't, you know, commission these that may have been in the fleet or something for 30 some years. But it's just, it's totally wrong. All right, next. We have a 2014 Ford Explorer. Do like this one. This one I like a lot. And they have plenty of these. Highway Patrol on the windshield. You would see a lot of these on the West Side Highway. Well, you'd see a lot of these anywhere in New York City. There you go. Alright. Probably one of my favorite recent releases by Greenlight. 2019 Ford F-350 Lariat. This is awesome for pulling trailers, including the horse trailer that you're going to see here in just a couple minutes. There's the tow hitch. There's the crew cab. There's the front. Top. And side. And back. NYPD Police, Super Duty. Again, your bumper stickers. Big fan of this truck. All right. Here we go. Now into the much bigger stuff. So this was part of one of the Hitch and Toe series. I don't recall exactly what number. But we have the 2014 Ram 1500 with NYPD mounted unit horse trailer. 
So let's bring that into the frame. Here we go. It's a Ram, obviously. What else can you say about it? It's a cool looking truck. Bed cover on it. Um, they do have Rams. I've never seen one in person during my time in NYC in, in New York City, the many times that I've been there. Um, <clears throat> but I have seen images of these, so I know they exist. Check out the detail in the grill, though. And once again, there is your hitch. But let's pay attention to the horse trailer. So NYPD mounted unit. This jack here screws down, so if you wanted to, you can pose the trailer by itself. Just like that. Or you could raise it up out of service if it's behind the trailer. So here's the back. Police mounted unit, caution, police horses keep back. And here's my little surprise for you. Check this out. See that? No, you can't, because the lighting is horrible. Got horses in the back. No, the horses do not come with it. These are horses from an old Matchbox set that I had. But they are roughly close to being somewhat accurate to the scale. Bear with me just a second. I don't have a third hand, so I know it's out of focus. Bear with me a minute. Okay, well, bang. This horse is dead, so we'll just use that one. Okay, so as you can see, the horse looks really, really good. And again, these horses are from a Matchbox kit, or a Matchbox toy from like, I don't know, 97, 98. Came with a stake bed truck. So I threw them in the back of there, and uh, it actually works. Looks pretty good. So that is the mounted unit trailer. I love how I said I was going to try and get through this video as fast as possible. But to be fair, there's a lot here. Okay. Next up, we'll get into the trucks. My favorite part of things. Here we go. We're going to be on the international Durastar bandwagon for a while, so jump on board. Here it is. 2013 International Durastar Rollback Flatbed Tow Truck. God, that's a mouthful. Um, love this truck. Very versatile, very useful. NYPD in the real world has a ton of these things. And you can put any of your 164 scale vehicles on the back, just like that. Looks good. Now, the bed on this, surprisingly, uh, for green light, they did not make it functional. So, unfortunately, it doesn't roll back. Uh, which sucks, if I'm being totally honest with you. But, you know, for just posing it on the shelf, or in your display case, or in your room in jail. Uh, it looks good and uh, just, you know, looks the part. I like it. Okay, next. You like a more conventional style tow truck? Maybe, you know, Century Miller style? Here you go. Another 2013 International Durastar Wrecker standard style tow truck. Again, nothing functional on here in terms of the tow truck thing. But again, you can always cheat. There you go. Now, I believe they made, I know they made this version, and I think they made the rollback in the auxiliary colors, um, which again, if you're not familiar, is just a reverse. Like, predominantly the truck is blue instead of white, and then the lines are white. All right, here's a brand new release. If you're thinking to yourself, okay, well, it's an ambulance, so why does the police department have ambulance? That's a good question. But the NYPD actually does have ambulances. And the reason for that is, I mentioned, you may have heard me mention at the beginning of the video, ESU, which is the Emergency Service Unit. Think of police officers on steroids, SWAT on steroids. So ESU, again, was formed in 1920. Currently, they have well over 500 officers. They have 11 different ESSs, or Emergency Service Squads, located throughout New York City's five boroughs, and we're going to see the trucks that they use at the end of this video. But they also have ambulances, and if there's a high-risk operation going on, such as um, a high-risk search warrant that's being executed, or if there's a mass gathering and maybe there's a threat of a terrorism act that's going on, they will stage these ambulances around um, either for one, if there's not enough regular ambulances, but two, and more often, is these are for the police officers. So if there's a high-risk operation and they don't want to have FDNY ambulances around, or if it's too dangerous for standard EMS crews, 
they will actually have their own ambulances dispatched in that area. So once again, if there's an active shooter and you don't want normal medical crews around, they have these. So it was a very wise choice with green light to go with them. Uh, again, you can go on the internet and actually Google NYPD ambulances. You will see that they exist, and that is their primary function. So if you're wondering why are they doing a cash grab with another ambulance and putting and slapping NYPD all over it, it's not a cash grab. They do exist. And there it is. And that's the reasoning for it. I do like it. Um, the only ones that, to be truthful, that I have ever seen in the real world and also on the internet, uh, but more specifically, obviously, because we want facts on this channel, is I've actually seen the Ford ambulances. I haven't yet seen the Durastar ambulance. I'm sure, again, I'm sure they exist, um, but I haven't been to New York City in probably two or three years. So not saying that they haven't ordered a few of these. I'm sure they have, but the only ESU NYPD ambulances that I have seen in person um, have been the, the like Ford F-550s or F-450s. Uh, but again, I'm sure that these do exist. Okay, so do these. Why would the NYPD want an International Durastar box van? Again, it's because it serves a lot of different pr uh, purposes. If they're doing an operation that requires stabilizing a building, or if there's been a terrorism attack and they just need a utility truck around with a whole lot of parts and pieces, they do have box vans, box trucks. And that's what this one is for. And in the back... The doors do open, although on this one you have to be a little bit careful because the doors are a little special on here. So they don't open very well on mine, but at least something is better than nothing. So that's the 2013 International Durastar box truck or box van. Here's one that I can't completely fact check because, once again, I have not yet seen one of these in real life. I'm sure that there's an application where it would prove fruitful or useful. But this is the 2019, um, I believe it's supposed to be a Chevy uh, step van. They call it the Highway Patrol step van, but it is unlicensed. Another recent release. Another one with some interesting doors, but they do open in the back. Again, not sure what you would use this for in terms of Highway Patrol applications. Seems like it would be a little bit slow, um, but a cool vehicle nonetheless. You have your, you know, step side door entry there, guard on the front. And once again, returning to the view that we started with. All right, let's get into some good stuff, some real good stuff. All right, we have our 2018 International... Workstar. So we've gone away from Durastar as we've moved up to Workstar trucks, which is a larger class truck. Uh, this is the NYPD aviation unit tanker. So clearly this would be utilized to fuel their aviation vehicles, most notably their, their helicopters and such. Uh, you can actually see a picture of a helicopter on here. Again, very believable uh, vehicle, specialized vehicle in the NYPD motor pool. I do like this truck a lot. This part back here, this flap does open. Uh, love the casting, the fact that the drop axle is not functional, but it, I do like the fact that they molded it in the raised position. That is pretty realistic. Truck could have gone with a light bar on top. Not sure why they didn't go with that because it is an emergency service vehicle. Uh, the front, I love the blacked out grill and decals that read flammable on both sides of the bumper. Overall, very specialized vehicle, and one that is very believable. Okay, let's round out the green light products by another very specialized vehicle that does exist, once again, in the NYPD motor pool. This is another International Workstar from 2018. Uh, this is a stake bed unit. Now, this truck can actually be two different vehicles. Uh, as configured right now, it could be a stake bed truck. But very quickly, you can remove the stake bed. And now you have yourself a flatbed truck. Also, as you probably saw while I was doing that, the stake bed truck, this truck comes with a couple different accessories. 
such as these police line don't cross barriers, two of those, and then two construction barrels, which if you look closely on them, let me focus this real quick, read New York City DOT. Pretty sweet. Okay. I applaud all of you that have stuck through this entire video. Let's close it on the highest of highs. These are by far the two best NYPD vehicles I have in my law enforcement vehicle collection at 164 scale. First off, we have Truck 6 from Code 3. This is a Mack truck. Um, again, Squad 6. I mentioned that there are, as I was going over my ESU introduction. There are 11 different ESSs or emergency service squads. Uh, this is squad six. This truck's been out for the better part of 16, 17 years now, but these are extremely val valuable and very, very hard to find now. And if you do find one, you're going to pay several hundred dollars for them new mint in box. They are very highly detailed. As you can see from the front, there's the Mack truck. You have truck six up on top, NYPD. You got some spotlights on the side, emergency service. Here's your rear entry for ESU-6. Just a great, great looking model. And just an awesome looking truck. Nothing at all to complain about about these. They are fantastic models. And again, they are worth a, quite a lot of money. Okay, let's close the video with this one. This is another Code 3 truck, another international base. Uh, this is our emergent, they call this the emergency support vehicle. Um, it does have a removable raft, water raft, and a working auto crane up on top. But again, because of the rarity and the value of this model, I'm not going to demonstrate anything. Um, this obviously sits on the shelf. And does a little else. So there you have it, collectors. That is my entire lineup of 164 scale emergency service, uh, or I should say law enforcement vehicles. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Again, it's taken me about three or four years to do this. I recently filmed the fire department version uh, of this video, so go ahead and take a look at your screen right now. You might be interested in checking that out now that you've just finished watching this. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think. Until next time, take care, be safe, and I will see you in the next review.